here we have Little Plate from Sound Toys. Now this plugin is completely free until November 22nd of 2017. So be sure to grab it now. If you are watching this video after this uh, uh, date, November 22nd, 2017, then you will need to purchase Little Plate. Now Little Plate is a plate reverb, which is based on the EMT 140. You can see the user <laughs> user's manual here for this monster, which is basically a giant metal plate and it, you know, reverberates and whatnot. Okay, get this plugin absolutely for free until November 22nd, and you will need an iLock account. You do not need an iLock key. You can authorize it uh, directly to your computer using the iLock license manager. So you'll need to create an account. If you don't have one completely free to do that, if you have one, then of course you already know what to do here. All right, so make sure you have an account because you'll need your iLock account name and download and install the iLock license manager so you can actually pull your license over onto your computer or onto an actual iLock key. So this is where you get it, soundtoys.com. That link will be in the description. So let's go ahead and check this out. Here we have Little Plate. It's AAX, VST, and AU. Take a bit of a tour of the interface here. So it comes with plenty of presets that you can just choose as a, a regular there as you normally would. Save presets if you make some changes here. You can revert those back and forth there just by clicking this button. Very cool. Of course, we can navigate through our presets as such. You can right click or control click a knob to change the display. So now we're seeing actual seconds there. Right click it again or control click it again to change that. Same for the mix. Now we can see our mix there and same for low cut. And you can click the I button here to get some information. There's your little plate uh, user's guide, which we'll take a look at here. So let's just hit play. Bypass it. All right, so that doesn't sound good in this case. So what we would need to do is turn our mix down and let more of that dry through and less of the affected reverb. Much better. So now we've created a bit of a space with this reverb. Just the decay, make it very long. If I stop playback, you can see and hear that it's still decaying out there. And if we put it on infinite, it'll just go uh, forever. It's not gonna stop to bypass it, to make it stop or turn this uh, control down, which is pretty cool. So that's how your decay and your mix uh, mix knobs work there. Now they do suggest just like normal reverbs, uh, you may wanna consider uh, busting a lot of different uh, instruments to the just one plugin, say like an aux track, and then keep your mix all the way up at wet, and then you can just dial in the amount of reverb you want. But that's that's getting into mixing, and we're just uh, taking a bit of a demo of this plugin, just so we know how it works. So let's go over here, and let's just go to something different here. So we can see how our low cut works. We'll put it at 100% wet. Now we'll start cutting out some of the low. Now the low affects the sound, the dry sound, but only on the wet side. And what I mean by that, see if I cut it all the way off, we're not getting that low end. Pull it down, the low end's coming through. However, if I have this on dry, now my low cut doesn't do anything. All right, so it's just gonna affect that wet. It affects the audio before it hits the uh, reverb. All right, then we have a mod here and they really suggest using this if you have like longer reverb tails to uh, really hear it anyway. So we'll put this up a bit farther and you'll hear how this mod just sort of modulates the reverb and the reverb changes a little bit. And you can see that in the manual, which is supplied with a uh, little plate as well. In here, they just go over some of the history of uh, say a plate reverb sound. And of course they go over, you know, all of the uh, controls of the K time, which we've already gone over. I don't need to go over this again. Uh, but just some tips and of course a great tip for the infinite decay time is you know be careful because it might get loud and it might get loud so be sure to watch your meters that's actually why we have a limiter right on our master track so whenever i'm recording this i don't uh, bust anything up so just some tips there's our low cut which we've already gone over we know how that works and the mod switch introduces slight uh, modulation within the reverb effect okay and this is just where they you know suggested use and uh, and whatnot, okay? So you can always check that out for yourself. Let's get back to the demo. We'll check it out on a, on a couple more sources there. So right now we're gonna check out this mod a little bit so you can really hear that a bit. Let's turn up the mix. So we're just getting more 
of the wet. We'll turn the mod on. So it's now just evolving a bit. Now I'm going to stop playback. Now, of course, you wouldn't be stopping playback uh, in your mix, but the audio track would end. You can really hear that mod in this case. Just modulating a little bit. Flip it off, of course. It's subtle here, but you can definitely hear it. Just a little bit of a mod there. All right, so that's all of the basic controls. Just remember the, the right click and what the mix is for and what the low cut is for. I should actually probably have that low cut down here if we really want to hear that mod. Let's go up a little bit more here. Now you'll really hear it a little bit more. Turn it off. Turn it back on. And stop playback there. As if it's fading out. And since we have this on, what, 35 seconds? It's just going to keep going, keep going. and go and bypass it there. Or turn this down. All right, so that's all of your basic controls. We'll check it out a little plate on a few more sources here. So here we have some piano. I think it's the grandeur. So that's obviously too much. Let's turn the mix down. The decay is way too much for a piano, in my opinion. Now, I want that low cut weight. I don't want it really cutting much out. Let me bypass it. Okay, so that's the sound just bypassed. We'll turn it back on here. There we go. Just gives us a nice, you know, a nice room sound there. Now, if you wanted to, Take the wet all the way up, use it for more of a creative effect there. And if you really wanted to, we could take it to infinite. And it's just gonna keep going. So I've stopped. <laughs> I've stopped playback. Let me turn that down. I've stopped playback and uh you know we're not playing back and it's still gonna keep going. This could be very useful for getting creative effects and things like that. That's pretty cool that they put that infinite control in there. Uh, it'd be cool to sample something like this and maybe reverse it and then you could lay it underneath it. Really cool effects you can do, but that would be for uh, a different video. Again, it's still going. And it's going to continue going. I can bypass it if I want. doesn't matter. Still going. Turn it down. All right, so that's just an idea on using it on a piano. And then we could use it on, we have action strikes here, which is sort of like uh, cinematic drums right there here in contact, as you can see. Pull up a little plate. We'll just put a bit of reverb on this. We'll start out with a bypass here. All right, that's nice. We select that, so we loop it. Turn this on. We go all the way up. It's just too much. So I just want to create a bit of you know depth. Okay, use our low cut if I wanted to, but. It would be cool if you uh, automated that, but I don't want that. I want the full signal coming through. A bit more on the decay, a little more on the mix. There we go, we'll bypass. Turn it back on. Nice decay there. Pretty cool. And of course, don't you know? Don't forget your uh, all of your presets in here as well. All right, a couple more quick samples here so some drums here we go it's more of an effect it's more of an effect sound there and some width All right, so you can do some cool things there as well. And the last thing we'll check out here is just on a bit of a, a voice here. Turn 
turning that on. Maybe we could start with a preset if we wanted to. I don't like that low cut. I don't like the mix all the way up. Maybe try a different one. I like, I like a lot of the dry coming through in this case. I just want to use the reverb. I don't want to create some width, some warmth, some depth. Nice long decay there. Nine, uh, 0.79 seconds. You put the mod on there too. It decays out. Now if I bypass this, it's already done playing. So again, go back here. That's just dry. And then we'll turn it on. That's nice. And of course, adjust to uh, taste. On infinite, it's just going to keep going. Now it's going to slowly fade out for 23 seconds. All right, pretty cool. All right, so that is Sound Toys Little Plate. Comes with a bunch of presets, and currently it is absolutely free until November 22nd. After that, you will have to pay for it. So if you're watching this after November 22nd, uh, at least you know what it does, but now you're going to have to pay for it. You're not going to get it for free. So head over there right now and pick it up absolutely for free from Sound Toys. That's Little Plate Electromechanical Reverb.